Hi there, this is uh, a reliability analysis of um, an on site uh, process plant using address. Um, so, you can see here I made a lapid block diagram whether you have the main system here and then backup system. So, in the, the one shown here is uh, in blue is the reliability of the main system and the backup system shown reliability of the backup system is shown here now this is um, the or pal means this one in operation and when this fails backup system comes into operation so the total reliability of the system is calculated using this formula. Now we're going to study what is this, what is inside this main system which determines the reliability of the system. So I have conducted two RAM study. RAM means reliability, availability and maintainability study. RAM study one you can see here it's a configuration one. It shows a subsystem of the main system so you have uh, these are the components inside the main system you have a unit 1e unit 1b unit 2 unit 3 unit 4 and the reliabilities of this are estimated these are estimated values it's 0.95 for unit 1e 0.95 for unit 1b since they are parallel the resulting reliability is 0 0.9975 it's calculated using this formula so reliability of unit 3 is 0 0.93 reliability of unit 3 is 0 0.98 it's an estimated value and unit 4 is 0 0.99 it's depending on the characteristics of this unit so I'm not going deep inside each of these units but giving you a fairly an average value of reliability we can estimate for each of these units. So the, the, the main system reliability works out around 0 0.9 using this formula. Just you with some, we multiply all the reliabilities in series and get this value because they are in series. So we're going to get the reliability of the PAL system here and multiply with the reliability of unit 3, unit 3, unit 2, unit 3 and unit 4 and get the main reliability as 0.9. This value can be taken here and calculate for the total system. Similarly, for RAM 2, what we have done is, is its configuration change. We add another one more parallel system to unit 2A and 2B. So the reliability of system 1A and B is 0.9975 since they are already in parallel. Similarly for unit 2A and 2B the reliability is 0.9951 which is increased if you can compare with the previous one it's about 0.93 estimate to 0.9951 being because you're going to add redundancy to the system. The unit 3 reliability is 0.997, unit 4 0.998. The total reliability works out around 0.99. So it's multiplication of reliability one R1 AB, R2 AB, R3, R4. You can see in this form. So what we are doing in the configuration one is we're going to do the RAM survey that is reliability, availability, maintainability study in one. So I have estimated the mean time between failures in hours and they are indicated for unit 1 AB, unit 2, unit 3 and unit 4. These are based on experience. Empirical results we obtain from observing the failure, mean time between failure or mean time to failure. I assume they were almost the same. 
and then the the lambda is nothing the nothing but the inverse of m mean time to value and then mean time to repair it's also an estimate based on the experience observations we have from the field so it's been estimated here I'll come to what it syndicated in blue later on mu is again the inverse of mttr and alpha is nothing but the ratio of mttr divided by mtbf and availability is nothing the formula of availability is 1 by 1 plus alpha availability and reliability is availability factors the maintainability in reliability so you get a total picture of the availability of the units and for the, for finding out the return on investment availability is an important factor reliability is a design factor availability is the actual availability of the unit which factors the maintainability so availability is an important factor when it comes to operation of the unit so so you have the for the main system from based on what we have the information for each of the unit main system you get the average mean time between failure it's about 245.86 hours they, 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 are, they can be changed but I'll come to that later so lambda is summed up it's 0 0.0407 it's summation of all the lambdas we have in series and mean time to failure is calculated using this formula and alpha is again summed up and the availability of the total unit is calculated using this formula now what we're doing here is we're defining a distribution for mean time between failure and mean time to repair so we know what's the mean time to value and I'm defining a distribution in order to carry out the Monte Carlo analysis the mean time between failure for unit 1 a B and I go to the address I click on define distribution and I can have chosen normal because you it's, click on this you can select the distribution you want and set the this, this the the mean I've selected is 720 hours the standard vision of 72 and I've taken the confidence level within the 90 percent and five percent on the left side and five percent on the right side I have living so it's fairly I'm assuming it's a normal distribution and I'd say okay Similarly, I define a normal distribution for unit 2, unit 3, and unit 4, as you can see here. And for a mean time to failure, I define a distribution as viable with alpha is equal to 2, beta is equal to 3. Beta is equal to 3 is fairly and close to normal distribution, but I have a control over the distribution that's why I'm choosing wipe and the shift I've shaken 15 so the average is around 17 but I can fall in this range with a maximum peak around 17 hours to repair unit 1 a B and a chicken a viable distribution as you can see the mean is 17.657 the mode is 17.12 the median is 17.49 and standard division about 1.38 this is skewness about 0.63 and the clitoris is 3.24 that depends on the beta and similarly I've chosen um, viable for unit 2 viable for unit 3 and unit 4 I've chosen a wipe with standard parameters I've shown you here. And then this red symbol so shows the output. 
so I have to add an output by clicking on this and then get this output now I've wanted to simulate it so just if you when you click when you roll the dice as you can see symbol here the values keeps changing as you can see here the camp the values keep changing and I start the simulation So you can see, you can see from the histogram here the possible availability of the total system based on the present situation. It's around 0.91. Similarly, for RAM to study, I've made a table here where you have the MTB. Lambda, MTTR, Mu, Alpha and Availability. That is main maintenance time to ratio. Alpha is maintenance time ratio. And I've chosen the unit A, B values of 70, but the mean time to repair is 7 because they are in parallel. Similarly, the mean time to repair for unit 2 is also reduced to 10. I've chosen a distribution which is gamma but because I'm fairly optimistic the distribution will fall within this range so it means a little bit repair at much shorter time than what has been estimated similarly for unit 2 I've chosen the distributions gamma so I'm fairly confident that I'm able to repair in a fairly short time Similarly, I have to made a defined distribution for unit 3 and unit 4. And I use the die, values keep changing, and I have the output, which is 0.979. Let us simulate. I'm taking a finer iteration. I'm doing one simulation, and I'll start it here. So, values about 0.9656, and you follow the histograms like this. So it's got a mean value of 0.967, mode is 0.969, the minimum is 0.919, the maximum is 0.985. And I'm go back to the main. I've defined distribution for our main and our backup. Our main the input comes from what we have done this these two study. So I've chosen a distribution which is put and I'm fairly confident to have it in the range 0 0.8 to 0 0.9 as you can see here and the maximum 0 0.98 and the mean of 0 0.73 and mode of 0 0.8 this is just for simulation I've chosen these values but I should pick up values from here well, for the time being, let us take what we have so that we can do more realistic analysis of the R total. R total is calculated using this formula, and let's start the simulation. It falls in the range of 0.91. That's that's a value we generally in practical in practice we we arrive we get. So to, to generate, in order to generate report, we click on Excel, Excel report, and I click the quick report, input result summary, output result summary, and also I have defined the inputs and outputs, the model definitions. So I say OK. The report, actors do, generates the report. As you can see, this is a risk output report for R total, and the the value I'm using I'm using a 500 iteration. The results I'm getting is upper is 0.97, the lower is 0.817, and for backup 0.83 is the lower, the upper is 0.97. As you can see in this uh, tornado graph. 
and this gives the cumulative safety and the the range of between 0.76 and 0.93 it's about 90 percent this is for the next output where this output report A for main system so you have the the unit to the mean time between failures the the range is most similarly in mean time to repair is for unit two is also has got a range the rest is fairly in control similarly for output for the main system where we have the as you can see here mean time to repair for unit 2 and B is improved but you still have the range and unit 1 you still have a range the tornado graph clearly indicates where do you stand after the modification the input results what are the kind of distributions we have chosen it's clearly shown here and output results shows for the total and for the main system with RAM study 1, RAM study 2. And the details are given here. And the model inputs are also given here. And model outputs are also given here. Well, this gives a clear idea about let's save it. This gives an idea of how the Monte Carlo simulation can be applied for reliability systems such as this. And in order to decide which distribution to choose and how to analyze more accurately, there are several resources available. Uh, like the one I'm sh this this particular book by Soft gives a detailed data about live data analysis and its reference to and you get to see the 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 distribution what kind of distribution to be used or what particular application or what particular reliability um, analysis all the informations are given here so it gives understanding of when to use login log normal when to use Gaussian and how the estimates probably proteins how are they done and similarly a lot of resources available on the internet we have bible.com bible model parameters and there is a reliability engineering source websites which gives in detail on selection of the distribution for this analysis. If you have any questions, you can email it to me at satyanarayan.apia at gmail.com. Thank you.